Hey, would you like to empower your child from bullies and give them the tools they need to feel confident when faced with a bully situation? October is Anti-Bully Month, so we're going to be bringing you some top tips for dealing with bullies and bully situations. I'm Brett Lechtenberg with Personal Mastery Martial Arts and Family Success Center, and this is Ryan Angar with Goodwill Family Counseling. Between the two of us, we've helped hundreds of children overcome bullying situations and have less stress, higher self-confidence, and better grades. So, Ryan, would you give our viewers today your top tip from a counseling perspective the best tip that you could for somebody uh, dealing with a bullying situation with their child? Uh, my top tip for the day is to consider not taking it personal. For example, if the bully is bullying your child and the child takes it really personal and begins to look at its own self-image like, oh, well, I, I must be this and I deserve this and it must be this. Uh, that is one way to continue uh, the bullying um, happening day after day. And so we talk more about how to not take it personal in future videos, but um, that's the top tip for the day. Awesome. My tip would be, as a parent, it's, uh, to remember that it's very easy to become emotional and have high anxiety when a situation like this comes up, and then we start to forget to do all the necessary steps, like how to get the basic information so we could go to a teacher or a principal or a daycare worker if this is happening at a facility like that. So my suggestion is step back, hold some space, and remember, keep the emotion down so we get the who, what, where, when, why, all the facts so that we can go to the uh, principals, teachers, etc., and make sure that they can give us the maximum help and they won't be repelled by our negative emotions as we're moving forward. So uh, be on the lookout for more uh, videos from Ryan and I. We're looking forward to doing this and helping our community. And if um, we can be of any assistance to you, then you families can reach us at uh, Personal Mastery Martial Arts or Goodwill Family Counseling. Have a great day. Would you like to empower your child from bullies and give them the tools they need to feel confident when faced in a bully situation? Well, October is Anti-Bully Month, so we are going to be bringing you our top tips for dealing with a bully situation. I'm Ryan Engar with Goodwill Family Counseling, and this is Brett Lechtenberg with Personal Mastery Martial Arts. And between the two of us, we are helping hundreds of children overcome bullying situations and have less stress in their life, higher self-confidence, and better grades. So here's our top tips for today. Brett, why don't we start with you? What's your top tip? My top tip for today would be to uh, get all the detailed information that you can possibly get. It's very common for parents to get jacked up and be emotional and forget to ask questions and be able to relay information to, uh, to other parents, to daycare workers, principals, teachers, etc. So get as much detail as you possibly can who the bully is, where it's happening, what they're doing, uh, how long it's been going on, etc., etc. Those things are really crucial so that as you relay the, to the powers that be, wherever that might be, that they're able to get the best possible picture of what's going on and be able to give you the maximum amount of help as fast as possible. So that's my tip for today, Ryan. All right, cool. What's yours? My top tip for the day is just to consider that uh, are the way that we hold ourselves and walk down the hall, the tone of the voice we have, and whether or not we make eye contact with other people at school are both going to increase the way our sense of comfort and safety and confidence uh, and ultimately affect bullying situations. So that's my top tip, to, to, to be aware that uh, we do walk down the hall giving off a certain vibe and energy. And so those three things, among others, will help in that situation. So be on the lookout for more upcoming videos on anti-bullying and creating self-confidence, reducing anxiety in a variety of situations. If either one of us can be of any assistance to you uh, or your family in the future, you can reach me at Ryan with Goodwill Family Counseling at 801-503-4000 or Brett Lechtenberg at P Personal Mastery yeah. Martial Arts, 801-947-1010. See you soon. Hi, my name is Ryan Engar. I'm here with Brett Lechtenberg, and we are continuing our top tips uh, during our anti-bullying month. And Brett, why don't I go ahead and start this one? Uh, my top tip, 
My top tip this week is for parents to consider not blaming anyone else in the family. So if I'm a parent and my child's being bullied, I, it definitely brings up some uncomfortable feelings and I have a tendency uh, to want to feel better by having something immediately in front of me to blame on that issue of discomfort. And so that in itself is a form of bullying within the house and it doesn't help the children's self-esteem or your spouse or anyone else's if I start to blame them for my child being bullied, which is out of their control. And so that's my top tip for the week. Brett, what's yours? Well, hey, that was great, Ryan, thank you. My tip is on follow-up. Once we get a, a bully situation uh, under control, s seems to have dissipated, I always recommend to parents to follow up with parents, uh, with other parents, teachers, principal, whoever might be the parties involved with the situation, mm -hmm. to make sure that the, the bully it doesn't kind of go back to their old ways. Uh, I've seen it many times where a, a bully is picking on someone, they get caught, so to speak, they subside, they quit doing it, and then when they think nobody's looking, they kind of go back to their old ways. They're just a little sneakier about it. So my recommendation is for keep everybody involved. If you're the parent of the child being bullied, stay involved, check back with parents, teachers, whomever, to make sure that it's truly, truly under control. And I'd recommend always doing that for at least 90 days. At least 90 days, I was gonna ask you that. Okay, all right, well, thanks for joining us for another top tip during this anti-bullying month. Again, my name is Ryan Engar with Goodwill Family Counseling, and my phone number is 801-503-4000. I'm Brett Lechtenberg, Personal Mastery Martial Arts and Family Success Center. My phone number is 801-947-1010. See you soon. Hello everybody, I'm Brett Lechtenberg with Personal Mastery Martial Arts and I'm here again with Ryan Engar with Goodwill Family Counseling. And this is another follow-up on our anti-bully series. And today we've got a couple other really good tips for you. To this video, we want to talk about a couple tips for parents. Ryan, why don't you give uh, the viewers your best tip for parents for today? My best tip for parents today is to uh, not to take it personal as a parent. So uh, my child's being bullied, and I might go into every reason as to why it's my fault as a parent that my child's being bullied. And uh, without the facts and without, the, those are just assumptions that cause emotional distress and pain. And so my top tip would be for the parents to take a deep breath and not take it personal. Absolutely. My tip for today is what we call the magnification process. When a bullying situation comes to light, we'll just use school as an example, make sure you get as many people involved as you possibly can that can help the situation, right? Uh, you, the teacher, the principal, the aides, the counselor, the lunchroom workers, anybody who might be able to witness the bullying happening or put an end to bullying when it does happen, the more eyes you can get on the process, kind of uh, gently condition the child who's causing the bullying by reminding them to keep them hands to themselves or, or whatever the case may be, just letting them know that they're being watched and they need to keep themselves under control can be a great thing and it puts the child who's being bullied uh, at ease knowing that other people are helping them watch them out. So that's my tip for today, Ryan. Great. And uh, if we can help be of any assistance to you, again, I'm Brett Lechtenberg, Personal Mastery Martial Arts. Please feel free to give me a call at 801-947-1010. And Ryan? And I'm Ryan Engar with Goodwill Family Counseling. My phone number is 801-503-4000.